Hi everybody, it is pantry day. Yep, it's pantry day. Let me show you. This is Sam. He's a white bellied kayak. I've been gone all morning and he's trying to get some loving from me. So he's going to help just a little bit and then I'm going to put him up. But he likes to see himself. He can see himself right now, so he's happy. Hi, Sam. Okay, up on the very top cabinet. I can't reach it unless I'm on a step stool. So Lynn keeps his cereal here. And then I keep our extra paper towels that I buy in bulk on the top shelf. And we have a little single coffee pot that we take on trips. And a pressure cooker we use for, actually, we just use it for canning. And some, let's see, those looks like lifesavers and some coffee pod holders. Okay, second shelf are coffee pods. Well, actually, I think these are, well, this is the decaf, and I think there's some chocolate milk or chocolate hot chocolate pods in there. This is coffee. And then in this area, this is all um, snacks for Lynn, and these are my gluten freeze. And then I'm not real sure what's up here. All this back in here is kombucha makings. I've got my SCOBY and things like that back there. And this is actually the pantry stuff. My vinegars, my canned goods, and I keep bird food right in here and bird food making stuff. This is where I keep my almond milk, my potatoes and my onions. And most of this is uh, just packaged foods, spices. And then down here on the very bottom is wine. And, ooh, bottle's been opened. I bet that's vinegar now. And then my all my flours and sugars and my protein mixes, beans, lentils. I see Lynn, Lynn's I put his cookies there. Got an extra um, water bottle for distilled water, and there's some more paper towels. And then on the bottom here, I've got some more canning supplies. And then this is all of our pet food. I keep our pet food on the bottom. So as you can see, I've got a lot in the pantry. It serves a lot of purposes, not just for food. What? What? Did that bird scare you? Did he scare you? And uh, I'm going to put him up first. Then I'm going to empty everything out. But I use, you know, the pantry's bird food, dog food. Um, I have to eat gluten-free mostly. And so we've got gluten-free, we've got regular, we've got canned goods, you know, a little bit of everything up there. Our canning, you know, we've just got everything up there. So I'm going to take everything out and uh, go through it, make sure I don't have a lot of expired stuff. And things, I don't think there's going to be a lot of things that we don't eat because I've, I've kind of cleared the pantry out since, you know, the fat past few months. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get start. I'm going to get him put up. And then I'm going to get started on pantry day. Okay, I just got back from the grocery, so I still have some things out. So, I think what I'm going to do, it's really hard to see what's going on in the pantry. So, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to start pulling everything out. Or go through the top I think maybe that's what I'll do and then start pulling things out and put them on this island in the kitchen I think I'll figure it out we're gonna do this together though you gonna behave while I do this yeah yeah okay you gonna behave yeah yeah they're not gonna behave okay this I don't this is my top shelf I got cleared off and down here I've emptied all of this out Except I'm not gonna move my kombucha. There is a there's scobies back there, and I don't want to disturb them. And we still have all of this to move out. But I'm gonna go through first of the things I've got out already and see if I have any anything expired. These are what scare me because I don't know what's in here. Okay, these I know are still good because I just bought them. However, um. I think I'm going to put them in a different container because they're, they'll are they last a while. And if I put them in a, like a lock and lock and then leaving them like this, that's not good. 
This is crystallized ginger. I'm going to keep it because it's good for stomach aches. This is still good. I'm sure I just bought it. Yeah. This is good till 2020, so we're good to go. Uh, these are gummy bears. I t brought these eight pieces, 90 calories. I'm going to put these in a different container. These are good as well as these. I didn't care for these. These are seaweed snacks and I, I don't, I just didn't, they just weren't my thing. They weren't my jam. These are all just little mints that I carry with me when I travel. An empty bag. More ginger. More of these that I didn't even realize that I had. So I'm going to put these in, in my where they, my tea thing belongs. Let's see, this is hot chocolate. I wonder how, if this even has an expiration on it. I'm sure I bought it last winter. It looks, it feels good and it doesn't have an expression, so we'll try it. And these are little snacks I take on the plane with me. I keep all of these because I put some in my, in my bag when I'm on the plane, as well as with my coffee mate. I wonder if these are still good. I bet they don't have an expiration. These probably last forever. Oh yeah, they still feel good. Yes, they are still good. So I'm going to keep them. The last time I flew, I always have to take snacks with me because the airport, you know, food, I, I can't eat it. So I took my almond butter with me. You know, it's in a package like this. And I had put it inside of my um, bag that you put your liquids in, right? I had a couple of these. They took this out and did the little, you know, they were all touching it and everything is what I'm trying to say. And I wouldn't eat it after that. No way was I going to eat this almond butter. You know, well, not this one, but another package. So I just chunked it. So I'm not gonna, even going to bother taking this with me again. If it's, if it's any kind of liquids... I'm not taking. I'm going to try taking tuna fish this time. They'll probably do the same thing. I just thought that was weird. Okay, so everything was good in that one. Let's try this one. Fritos, we need to put in another bag. We need to put these in another bag. This needs to go in another bag. Oh, I bet this has been in here for a while. Nope, it's still good. These things last forever, I guess. And I guess this is still good. I'll take this, I'll take this for Lynn for a snack when we go on our trips to Branson. Okay, I'm gonna put all this. <laughs> that's kind of a weird thing, huh? I'm gonna put all this up and get it all straightened out, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, this is what I ended up getting rid of. These were already opened and they're crushed. This is the Weiler's half and half and I absolutely did not care for this at all. And expired, ex everything else is expired or just things we're not gonna eat. There's just no way. So, on to the next. Okay, the second shelf is emptied. I've done very well as far as the only thing I did discover, I didn't know that rice wine vinegar had to be refrigerated after you open it, but luckily I have not opened it. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator now so I remember to um, refrigerate it when I open it. And all of the rest of this, the only thing that I'm gonna end up having to throw out, and I knew this one was probably gonna go bad, but I just keep the, I keep one can of evaporated milk on hand, I don't know, just because. This is turned rancid. These are way expired. I don't, I, you know, Sophia was talking about used things, don't save them. And I kept saving these, 
you know, because I like to put them in potato salad or just any type of salads, and I've been saving them. Don't ask me why. And they've gone and expired, and I don't, I mean, they're expired so bad. I'm not even going to, yeah, no way. And this is definitely expired. And so is this tomato sauce. So I can't even take any of that to the food pantry. Pretty good considering I had all this in my pantry. So I'm going to wipe all this down. I put the second shelves back up. This is just bird food. That up there is Lynn's cereal. As you can see, I can't, I'm kind of short. I can't even reach any of that. This is all paper towels and then our canning stuff. And this is my co extra coffee holder thingies. But I think what I might do is re organize a little bit of this but that's not what this is all about because I really want some room for that kombucha it needs to stay in a dark place and I don't want to get too much in front of it but yet I want it to stay you know where it's not messed with so um I'm going to clean off this shelf real good I'm going to keep my canned goods up here for sure I do know that and then I need to go through and organize well, I need to take out a lot of stuff. Since I've gotten this one cleaned out, I'm going to take the opportunity to move. I use these a lot more. We mostly eat fresh vegetables, salads, and things like that. I use canned goods mostly in the winter or, you know, for backups in case I'm out of something. And um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move them below so I'll have room to put my... My things I use on a daily basis at eye level just seems like that would be the thing to do. So we'll try okay, it. So what I've done is I haven't done anything up here. I just put um, Lynn's things on this side so he'll be able to find it. And then I've got a few baking things that I will know that, yeah, all of this was still good. So that's good. But I do need to make those cookies for him pretty soon or they're going to be bad. And bird food it was all good and this is just where I keep all the the things that I make the bird food with that you know that I make my my, my bird stuff with so I got everything over taking care of that so that's good that that's why I'm this way I know where everything is and what I've got to make it with and chicken broth needs to go down here then I've got I've been wanting to do do this for so long I got all my lentils my beans all that stuff over here and then the stuff that I use daily the apple cider vinegar and the oatmeal and you know all this kind of stuff I'm I'm gonna keep that here so I'll know where it is and it will not expire on me because this stuff goes rancid fast uh, I was cleaning and then we've got all of our canned goods all of them are um, up to date so I have absolutely no problem with that and then the bottom shelf I went through. This is all my gluten-free snacks. And these are just extras. These are baking mixes for, for Lynn's things. And then we've got the uh, gluten-free down here. You know, it just, it's easier. I got rid of all the junk and I can see what I have now. Whoops, I can see what I have now, so. Yeah, these are gluten-free brown rice pasta. And I've had this, this way expired. I'm not going to, I mean, who am I kidding? I'm not making lasagna. This I bought and did not realize it had Splenda. I don't use Splenda, and I didn't care for this. And I've just had it opened in the pantry for oh, quite some time. I'm chunking it. These are stale. So I filled up a garbage bag full of trash. I have had to learn to cook a lot less than I used to because I don't eat like I used to, and my husband's not a big eater. And it's been really hard for me to do that, but I'm learning. And looking at the money that I, I'm just throwing away in that one bag, yeah, that it's a learning experience, I guess, is the only thing I can say about it. I hope you all are having a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.